Hi, and welcome to the Stacked Bar Graph customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to our project panel. Go to the All Graphs folder, and let's look for the Stacked Bar Graph folder. Double click on Stacked Bar Graph, Stacked Vertical Bar Graph Composition, because we also have a horizontal one, so this is a vertical. And in this composition, this is actually your render uh, composition that you can render this chart individually uh, as by itself. In our timeline we have a camera that is animated. You can see our keyframes by hitting U on your keyboard. We also have our two main text layers. You can double click to change the text on those. And If you wanted to change the font, the color, or the size, you can go to your character panel and do any of those things. We also have our all caps option selected. Um, you can turn that on or off. And on these text layers, we also have a layer style applied. And that layer style is a drop shadow. And you can change the color, you can change any of the parameters here for that drop shadow in your layer styles menu. Uh, if we go to our enter stacked vertical bar graph data here, this is our pre comp that has our actual graph. This is animated. It's got this kind of wave warp on. So it's just something different, something interesting. Okay, so let's uh, start editing our graph. So we can double click on the inner stacked vertical bar graph data here. That's a long title. Composition, double click that. Here we go. And our first layer is our graph controls and uh, if you twirl that down, this is actually a shape layer, twirl open the contents, and you can turn on a lot of these, uh, all of these elements. There's a grid, there's units for X and Y. Um, so if you want to change the look of that grid, you can do that. And you can also change the color in our effects controls as well. And the line thickness. Our next layer is a bar width, spacing, and symbol, and size. So we can change the width of these bars, make them skinnier. We can change the spacing between the bars. We can change the number size there. We can select a prefix or a suffix. Right now our prefix is selected for our numbers or you can turn both of those off and you won't have anything there or you can have a our suffix my bad sorry and next you can turn on or off any of these bars if you only had maybe six bars you can turn off seven through ten and then you can increase the space between those bars that's a little much but yeah so you can customize this uh, chart any way you like to enter our data go to the enter stacked bar data here 01 layer and hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. So these values are animated. So the first thing we're gonna edit is our bar 01 data. And this is actually the number that is reflected here at the, um, on top of each bar. So our first data, we're just, let's say for the sake of this, we'll make it 100. So, oops, double click that. There we go. So you can see all of our bars did not move because all of their data collectively equal 50, which was our previous number. So we'll just increase that. My goodness. Double click the second keyframe and type in your new value. And there we go. So you can change any of these values for each category. Just make sure that they all um, equal to whatever your original bar data is. So I hope, I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, you can always email me, let me know. And you would repeat that for each bar. Now we also have an option in our bar data uh, controller. You can turn off the categories. So if you just wanted two categories, you can just have two or three or four. And to change your text for any of these categories, you just um, find the category 01 text, these layers here, you can double click and type in your text. And you can change the font in the character panel. 